Well, so what I'd like to do in this example is show you how to evaluate for the cosine of theta equals negative 1. So again, what we're trying to do is find the angle when cosine is equal to negative 1, or when the x coordinate of the um, x coordinate of the point where our angle intersects the unit circle is negative 1. So if I look at my unit circle, we know we have these kind of major points here, 1 comma 0, 0 comma 1, negative 1 comma 0, and 0 comma negative 1. So again, we're looking for that x coordinate of the, or the x, the x coordinate um, that's going to equal negative 1. You can obviously see ding, 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 we got that right there. So we want to be able to determine what is going to be the angle between 0 and 2 pi, as well as our, all of the solutions for that. So here, we can easily say that this angle we know is going to be pi. So I can say theta is going to equal pi. Now, that's going to be all the solutions between 0 and 2 pi, which is going to make up the unit circle. But if I ask you to find, find, all, the solutions, um, find all of the solutions, not on any constraints, well, we notice that here, I'm going to have to, if I add pi again, that's going to take me to a positive 1. But if I add 2 pi, that's going to take me back to negative 2. And then I have to add negative 2 back again. So between the solutions of 0 and 2 pi, my answer would be pi. If I asked you to find all of the solutions, then it would just be pi plus 2 pi r, where r represents the number of times that we're going to uh, keep on going around, which is a variable. So that means it's going to be indefinite solutions. All right, so, um, definitely yes. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you solve for cosine of e equals negative 1. Thanks.